What pace are you going for, Shane? Uh, finishing pace. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well, we're here, guys. Year 10. Let's get Crazy, it. Crazy, man. The first time we all really picked up and did a race together was the summer after Yusuf Pass. It was the first time we got together as like a family or as a brotherhood and did a race. We're running the Boston Marathon this year. I don't think that there's anything that we've done on a marathon level or an endurance race capacity that hasn't had Yusuf. While we are running for Yusuf, we are actually fundraising for the Steve Fund, which we are extremely excited about. One of my favorite parts about this running journey has been the extra layer it's added to our friendship. And I think a lot of the vibe that happens now has to do with the fact that a lot of us started participating because of Yusuf. I benefit from a lot of grace in my life, and that was hard for me in the beginning to accept anything good in the wake of Yusuf's passing. I know that my beloved wanted nothing but the best for me, and so I just worked to make the best of my life. In Yusuf's passing, there were several different dynamics that changed my life. One was I lost my best friend, and that was a very difficult uh, thing to process both then and still now. I think everyone imagines having, you know, a best man at their wedding or someone that they can always kind of depend on. And though I had other friends, that kind of, that main person kind of disappeared from me. The other side of Yusuf's death was the suicide aspect, which changed how I looked at my own mental health and changed the way that I have moved ever since. I remember like the feeling of confusion. Uh, I had just spoken to him, everybody was kind of just talking. I think when you lose somebody that's in your friend group, it kind of lets you know how temporary life is and how fragile life is. And I think probably the most confusing part was that there were no signs. I was born in the mid 80s and my entire life I always heard black people don't get sunburned, we don't get skin cancer, and we don't have suicidal thoughts. None of that is true. I first met Yusuf freshman year of high school. He was a year ahead of me. Yusuf played football like me and he played baseball like me. So we practiced all together. We would give each other rides to and from school. We were pretty much, from my freshman year on, pretty inseparable. I actually met him through Schaefer. That's how I met Yusuf. And, you know, when I met him, Yusuf walked up to me, he was like, yeah, I'm Schaefer's brother. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm Schaefer's brother. So then I guess we're all brothers now. We did a lot of things together, everything. We played sports, just hang out. His grandmother stayed like right behind my grandmother. He would come through the cut as a kid um, and play football with me and my cousins. Yusuf was uh, the only child, so. We were like the kids he hung out with. If somebody wanted to describe a person that they wanted to be, they would probably describe Yusuf. You had a real unique balance of just all these great parts of what we think, you know, that guy in society is. Kind of all rolled up into one. You know, he worked out, took care of himself. I think the only thing is his hairline wasn't that great. <laughs> <laughs> the core friend group, uh, it's a group of us. We, we call ourselves like the prayer group. Um, <laughs> we all uh, stick together. Uh, we all support each other. Uh, I met Quiet first, which is very funny. I met Quiet in high school, but then I ended up going to uh, North Carolina a and where me and Quiet became uh, roommates. I met Denez at uh, a and as well as Herc. We've all grew up together, and Schaefer, you know, Schaefer's like my smart little brother. Like, he knows it all. All of us are all intertwined because of Yusuf. We've all met in different circumstances, whether it's been just through A&T or through frat stuff or just random nights out. Like we've all grown together through different avenues. Running together or having this common running goal has added another layer to our friendship. And I think that's super special. We all became one big family, one big brotherhood that will always just support each other and be there for each other. I remember telling you, right, when he started like running the 
I was like, I'm not, I'm not running, bro. Oh, I, I was, I was never open to running. Never, never. Ever, I was never ever. open to running. And then, so I never committed to it until you know, right. after he was gone, right? And then after I committed to that, I was like. Yo, I'm never running a full. <laughs> Ever. That's, that that is stupid. Well, I was. And now it's like the same situation got me doing. It's the same thing got us doing. Got me doing this. Like I said, I would never do both. I always knew Yusuf was running. I'm like, why is this guy always running? What's the point of you know running all these miles and stuff? Like it just seems stupid. Later down the line, I kind of understood. His, his run journey. And then Yusuf had ran the Great Wall of China. It was very elementary. We had no formal training. We just kind of got outside and ran and tried to run farther and tried to run faster. Tried not to walk, like just little, little things for ourselves. But there wasn't any running that we did outside of being punished in different sports. We were all in a group chat and we all was gearing up to, to go to Miami. I'll never forget the day that, you know, everything happened on, on January 29th. It hit us all in the gut. And it was one of those things where we were like, do we still go down to Miami to do the race or do we not? Like, you know, wh what do we do? If Yusuf was still here, he would want us to do it. Once I heard that, it just stuck in my mind. Like, you know, I got to keep my, my brother, my friend, legacy alive and I feel like personally the best way to continue to do that is by running. The Miami Marathon has evolved over the last 11 years that I've run it. In 2013, I ran it with Yusuf and another friend of ours, Roderick and, and a couple others. That era was a bit quieter. It was not very difficult to get into that race and we were pretty much just our own group. The energy's good. Anytime you have an opportunity to reconnect with your brothers, you gotta take full advantage of it. At this point, it's become something that we really look forward to and that we start plotting out the summer before, um, just because we know how essential it is kind of to start our year off. I've actually done two half marathons, all very symbolic, motivated by a desire to stay connected with those who let me know that they cared about Yusuf. When Yusuf passed, he was to have run that weekend. We actually uh, changed the date of his services so that as they let me know, they could complete the marathon and run with Yusuf's uh, number and they brought his medal back. Um, it's in paradise with Yusuf now. Every time I see them run in a marathon, shout outs to Yusuf, I, I just, I mean, it makes my heart warm. I mean, to know that, you know, he had friends who really care about him and, and want to keep his name alive, I think it's dope. It's a beautiful thing. It's a sense of pride. Every time, I remember when, when they first got the medals and was holding them in the seat, like it's, it's, a, it's a sense of pride. It's a sense of camaraderie. Uh, you finished, hurt. <laughs> That's all that matters, you know? I mean, a lot of, a lot of gratitude, right? But, so much gratitude. But you finished us. Right. Right. Ten years came around you quick. Yeah. We're running the Boston Marathon this year as we run most of the races since the death of, of Yusuf. And in that same light, we are working to raise funds for the Steve Fund. It is one of the nation's leading uh, nonprofits that supports the mental health and emotional well-being of young people of color. Also, why this year is particularly important is that it's been now 10 years since his passing. 10 years forward, now that we are taking on one of the, the world majors, for us, it's, it's great to kind of carry his torch into other races, including the most important marathon in the world, which is Boston. Leading up to it, there's, there's a tremendous amount of anxiety around being prepared for the race. I'm terrified about running Boston but excited. I just know a lot of people don't get the opportunity to run Boston. And the fact that I get to run it and honor Yusuf at the same time, I'm thankful for the opportunity.